And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 65 kilogram world tournament at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium in the second gymnasium. We've got 4,800 screaming fans here ready for this next bout to kick off. Our final in the red corner, Elias Boulay taking on in the blue, Gail Wheeler Sakarek. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Let's get into this. So, Bouliad, the taller guy. 178 centimeters. That is a lot taller mm. than Gaia at 169 centimeters. And 10 years difference, Bouliad being the more youthful. But between them, you're looking at 288 wings. Yes. It's huge. Yes, a ton of experience. And if you're wondering why Bouliad has those marks on his face, it's because this is the final of the tournament. He has had two fights before no! this. And one of them, we went to an extension round. Yeah, he, he had the harder time to get here, and there's no doubt about that. He had a, a knockout in almost about 30 seconds in one of his matches to get here, so uh, I think he's probably a little bit fresher. This is the beauty of the tournament is your path to the final can be very different from your opponents. Absolutely, and it makes for the, the most extraordinary circumstances and, and events. But we've got Thailand versus the Netherlands here, so let's see how it goes down. Well, and Elias Boulay, a great kicker in his own right, but I believe the master of kicking here will have to be Gale on his left yeah. low middle and high kick. Just going to work early on breaking up this guy's stability, and you can just hear those kicks from a mile away. Well, and Gale's going to know, you know that Elias has had a, a tough opportunity to get to this, uh, get to this final, so... He can just take advantage of that and start smashing the legs early on. Absolutely, and he is. I mean, look at this. He's committing to it heavily, too. Ooh, nice, nice spinning there from Elias, but not much on it. This is probably the slower start that we've seen so far from Elias in yeah, this tournament. Yeah. He's clearly feeling those wars he's been in. Well, and this, too, is going to be a, a difficult opponent for him in that Gale is never just going to hang there and let Elias start to build momentum with his combos. Gale will throw a front kick, he'll step away, he'll step in. He's not going to let Belade get revved up. No, and that's it. Belade, he relies on that momentum. The moment he's feeling it, he starts getting to his rhythm. Not letting him get into his rhythm is a very, very wise strategy for Gale. And he will just use those living breaks and just break off the momentum. Look at this. Look at this. So powerful and committed to his shots, Gail. And Ilias, you know, his body's got to be aching, but he is hesitating here massively. He didn't come this far just to, uh, just to make an easy target. He's going to have to do more. No, no, and he, that's the thing is you got to dig deep. And if anyone can do it, it's him. Uh, but, yeah, he's going to have to... Uh, Kind of go for broke a little bit with Gale. Not wait for the right moment, but make the right moment. Absolutely. Couldn't say it better, my, better myself. Terrific. Well, um, I don't know. Did, did Gayo get respect early? There seems a lot of hesitation here. Those little front kicks, the big mid kick. It's, um, it's just harder for him to establish that range. And it's going to be hard for him to get Gayo, Gayo's back against the ropes as well. Yeah, you're not going to be able to bully Gale, that's for sure. He's so well experienced, so well composed. He's going to kind of just you know, maybe take this round, you know, lead Gale a little bit, figure it out, and then hope, uh, hope to pick it up in the second and the third. Oh, Ooh. Gale loves that knee, man. Look at the timing on that, too. Right when Boulade's on the ropes there. Uh, beautiful knee. Yeah, he was well positioned in time. The lot went into that attack. It wasn't a simple case of me and someone. Gale just looks real fresh. I'm going to be honest, I mean, you know, their previous wars and, and their route to the final is really telling here. Um, I expect both fights to be a bit slow in the first round, you know, looking at what they've been through and there's a lot on the line. But Ilias is not showing it up at this point. It's, it's almost like he's a shadow of his former self. Really, and even just you know, being 21 years old and uh, possibly being the younger, more spry fighter, Gale yeah, just looking really good now. And I think you're right, it's, it's the journey to the final that makes the difference. It really is. It really is. I think Elias needs to come out and get into his rhythm. He needs to start doing what he, he was doing previously. Get busy, chucking in bunches. Even if you haven't got the gas to keep going, despite the bursts, you've got to do more than what, what he just did.
No, you're absolutely right. No, yep, it's just going to take no, a phenomenal dude. effort to get a phenomenal result here. Here we go. Okay, coming out on the front foot there. Yeah, this is good, but the pressure here we go. is what he needs to do. Ah, you can just tell he's, he's in pain. Yeah, you know, he needs to avoid any of that clinching action and take every moment that he ha every opportunity he has to let his hands go. Good, he's not letting Ageo get away with low kicks unresponded now. Gale loves to push and follow up with front kicks, mid kicks. He'll throw you into the ropes, and then when you bounce back, meet with the technique. Oh, whatever it is. Gale had spotted his guard, not only high, but the elbows are open like a window. Such a huge target. The lead's so tough, but man, you know, especially having already fought in you know, two previous fights, just Gale relentless here. It's a matter of time now. I think Elias just hasn't got enough left, and it's a matter of time. Oh, see how he uses the ropes there. Beautiful technique yeah. from Gale. We, we said earlier why Yamazaki didn't go to the body. Well, you know what? Gale is. It's just all that experience. Here we go. Get ready for it. He's gearing up for it. Yep, and then when Blade wants to turn it up a little bit, and move in, Gale just there with the front kick. Keeps the range. Yeah, it's kind of just a matter of time here. You know, this Boule can throw up some more offense. That was a nice left hook he came on the inside with, but he needs more than that. Yeah, whereas before that would be the beginning of a four or five shot combination. Right now it's just a single shot. Absolutely, he's pot shotting. He's hoping it's enough to keep Gayu off. It's not going to be. Gayu is body hunting here. And he's, he's going. Oh. There it is. from Mike Tyson all in one blow, man. Oh, and you've already fought. So tough. Really? Ref. Wow. Maybe think about saving him from himself on this one. Oh, is so another tough, one? That's just it right there. No. No, he was up quick, but yeah. the ref made the right choice. Yeah. Oh, just masterful performance there. He not wasting any energy. Each strike counts. So good. Hats off to the late man. He's just 21 years old. So tough. So unbelievably tough. So tough. I mean, if there's a if there's a medal for toughness, he wins it tonight. No doubt. He had the harder than coming here. And I think Yamazaki is going to be sitting there going, oh, well, I should have got the body more. Because uh, Gayo came straight out and he took full advantage of that really wide guard. That's. Uh, Exposed that at the bottom. Well, in the corner there, Ulysek Rek, Ulysek Rek, obviously elated. Just another masterful performance. And it's nothing, there's no secret what Gayo's doing. There's no secret technique. It's great basics, a ton of experience, calm and composed, and just so, so good. Look at his face, Yeah. The hunger, the lion, yeah, oh. is uh, hibernating. Absolutely. I mean, the eyes are so willing, the spirit is so strong, but yeah. the body's like, yeah. I've literally got nothing left. It's the, the frustration that I want to do this, I want this, but the, I can't. Absolutely. You what can't overcome the nerve in some days and um, leave that stuff for the movies. Yeah. Yeah. Really doing a great job, but. Gio just uh, the amazing champion that he is. And he gets to add another belt to his collection. There's gold all around stylistic matchups, some also kind of ugly throwdowns. Yeah, we saw the refs having to get involved far too much.
ดีใจมากครับที่ทำหน้าที่บนสังเวียนได้แชมป์เควันทัวร์นาเมนต์ครั้งที่2รุ่น65กิโลและที่ขาดไม่ได้ผมต้องขอขอบคุณแฟนมวยทุกๆคนครับยังไงก็ผมจะทำหน้าที่ให้ดีที่สุดแล้วก็มาร่วมช่วยเชียร์ช่วยให้กำลังใจด้วยนะครับขอบครับอาริกาโตโกไซมัสเอ็งว่ามอร์คิเอสฟอร์จิสฮัมเบิลอินวิกตอรี่อินสโตกูดอับสลูตเลยอาเมนยูโน่ฮิสก็จะมีสมอลในสไฟส์ฟอร์วิกส์ทัวร์นาเมนต์แบบนี้ที่ออกมาบนท็อปฮิวจ์จิตเมนต์ฮิวจ์จิตเมนต์ยูโน่อับสลูตเลยและนั่นคือที่คุณมีที่ K1 เวิลด์แกรนด์ปรีซ2016ญี่ปุ่น K1 65กิโลกรัมเวิลด์ทัวร์นาเมนต์ในโยโยกิแนชชั่นแนลจิมนาเซียมและสเกนจิมนาเซียมเราจะพบกัน Uh, next time.